Hello everyone, my name is Tenzin Milam. I am from Upper DCV class 9. And today, I along with two of my classmates, Tenzin Lamo and Tenzin Palmo, have created a model based on breathing mechanism. The reason we choose breathing is, in the current situation, many people are facing breathing problems due to COVID-19. We tried out different activities and we found that with the help of spirometer, we can find out our capacity and volume of our lung. We also have some teaching aids for children to understand breathing mechanisms better. We also have some breathing exercise for people to make their lung more healthier and more efficient. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tintin Lamo, studying at Upper TCV School in 9th grade. My topic is about breathing mechanisms in relation to the principle of Paul's law. I made this teaching aid to explain breathing mechanisms to the kids to understand the functioning of the lungs. The mechanism of breathing involves two main processes, inspiration and aspiration, and during the process of inhalation, when you inhale or breathe in, your diaphragm contracts and moves downwards, thus increase the space in your chest cavity and your lungs expands to it. Due to this, it increases in the volume and the pressure is decreased. Example like as you can see, there is two pipes in this bottle. If I insert one of this pipe in mouth and suck the pressure inside the bottle, there will be higher pressure outside compared to the pressure inside the bottle. So, gases travel from an area of high pressure to low pressure. That's why the higher pressure outside if it moves inside the bottle where there is less pressure through the other pipe and it will blow the balloon. Now, Pamela will demonstrate it. Thank you, Pamela. And during the process of exhalation, when you exhale or breathe out, your diaphragm and rib muscles it relax and it reduces the space in your chest cavity. As the chest cavity gets smaller, the lungs it deflate. And according to Ball's law, an increase in lung volume results in a decrease in pressure. And it also states that a gas pressure and a volume are inversely proportional. When the temperature is kept constant, the volume increases and the pressure falls and vice versa. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tenzin Babu, studying at Upper TCV in class 9. So today, my topic is on spirometer and it is a device which is used in measuring our lung volume and capacity. Let me show you on how to use this spirometer and Ajay Dizila will help us demonstrate it. First, she will take a deep breath in and then she will blow air into this bottle through the tube. Thank you, Adelizila. So as, as you have seen her blowing the air into this bottle, so as uh, you can see that the water is getting displaced into this second bottle. And as the water level rises, it shows us and tells us about her lungs volume and capacity. So our spirometer, it, is bit, uh, it has really many uh, certain advantages, uh, such as it is very easy to make and um, it is made up of waste material and it, is, um, it promotes inquiry-based learning. So um, our spirometer, uh, we can later use this on checking the vital capacity of certain different ages, uh, weight, height, and then um, old people, young people, and smoker and non-smoker. And our spirometer, it is based off on two principles, which is Archimedes principle and air pressure. Thank you. Today, we have also come up with a simple, efficient breathing exercise and it is called deep breathing. Benefits of breathing exercise, deep breathing can restore diaphragm and intercostal muscles function and increase in your lung capacity. When you breathe in and out with the diaphragm, doing about 80% of the work to fill out your lung with mixture of oxygen and other gases. Deep breathing can help lessen your feeling of stress and emotion and it plays an important role in COVID-19 recovery process. Lung stretching. In, to do this exercise, you need to stand upright and exhale until your lungs are completely empty. And then you gradually breathe in and take as much air as you can. Thank you. First take a deep breath and then take the simple device into your mouth and hold your air for 20 seconds or as long as you are able to. After holding on for 20 seconds, blow air into the balloon and then return to your relaxed position.